So in our workshops we have a wide variety of organisations participating and these include the local government, universities, emergency management, civil defence, planning, public health, social agencies, as well as non-government organisations and the private sector. So the first step in this process is to gather information and get people talking to each other, building relationships, finding out what other organisations are doing, what they know about the hazards and the, and the vulnerabilities in their area, meeting each other, generating new ideas. And we're asking the people here in Palu just to talk about the risks that they face here in Palu, what's working for them, what's not working. They're all having a really good discussion about uh, the different issues. They're getting to meet each other, they're talking together, they're just describing for themselves what are the big issues, what are the priorities and what needs to get done. And that's where we can then help them with, help them develop an action plan around the gaps in their knowledge or the gaps in the information that they have. In Palu, they have a regulation to respond to the disaster. It means it means that this city have anticipation if there is a disaster at here. Well, the key things that they're writing up in terms of the hazards for them are earthquakes, tsunami, debris flows, river floods, and landslides. It's a very active fault here in Palu, and it's a very active landscape. So what we're going to take away from these meetings is uh, the ideas of where they're currently at, where are the gaps, where potentially our priorities for them to be focusing on and the action plan will focus on ways forward in a collaborative manner and working together to reduce risk. <laughs>